So you all don't know how excited I am about this game that I'm about to be talking about today. If you don't know, for almost a half of this year, I've always been infatuated with the game Hollow Knight. I've done several videos on all of the Metroidvania games. I've done several videos on the Hollow Knight clones. I've done several videos on Hollow Knight itself. And I don't know what it is. There's not a single game that I've played that has captured the same spark that Hollow Knight did when I played it originally. And we still have absolutely no idea where the hell Silk Song is. So, like, I don't even know what to do anymore. Now, with the absence of Hollow Knight, like I said, a lot of Hollow Knight clones have come around and they've kind of just, you know, tried to take the audience of Hollow Knight and, like, kind of flip it on its head. But to be honest with you, they're kind of ass. I'm going to be real with you. They're kind of cheese. Don't even bother, bro. Don't, 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 don't bother, bro. Don't even bother, dog. Trust me. But recently, there has been a game that is like a fusion of Hollow Knight, Devil May Cry, and any Metroidvania game that you all have probably seen out there, and it's called Crow Sworn. Now, the game actually just launched their Kickstarter yesterday, and in under three hours, they've already hit their goal. Now, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I did not watch the trailer that came out with this game this is the kickstarter trailer that came out literally yesterday by the time that you're seeing this but today for me right now because it's literally about to turn 12 o'clock but earlier today this is the trailer that came out and like i said this game i'm very 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 excited about this game make sure you leave a like a comment subscribe because when this game comes out when hollow knight silk song comes out i'm playing both of them this game looks amazing off of what i've seen on twitter but this is the most recent trailer for this game and I'm nothing but excited for it. Let's get into it right now. Let's get let's get into it right now. Let me turn it down right here, and let's go. Okay, let's get this money, baby. Oh, they got an animated trailer. What the hell? Oh, that's tough. What? I didn't know. Wait, oh, what? This looks big, big. Are we dead? Yo, oh my God. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Dude, let's go. That was tough. Nah, that was tough. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna say it. This looks better than Hollow Knight. I'm gonna say it. Not Silk Song, because we haven't seen Silk Song like forever, but like, this looks way better than Hollow Knight. Like, as the guns is nutty. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a build, a skill tree. Kind of like Ori. Like Ori. Hold on, wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Ground pound. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, yes, yeah, they got a devil may cry. Yo. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Now look, now obviously, like I said, this is there like an ending another. So this should okay, so I'm not gonna hold you. I say it once and I say it again. This game looks better than Hollow Knight. The original Hollow Knight, it looks it just looks way better to me, personally. Uh obviously if you're like a humongous Hollow Knight fan, you know exactly what certain things are. What I like about this game a lot is it actually has multiple weapons. Like, you have the scythe, but then you also have the dual pistols. I'm going to call them Ebony and Ivory because, come on, they're inspired off of them anyway. But, like, like, just looking at this gameplay is really, really nutty because it basically takes the entire Hollow Knight, like, aesthetic in terms of, like, how some of, like, the mobs look around, like, the front AI or whatever. But, like, now it's, like, a whole different thing. And you can actually combo, you can combo the scythe with the two swords and with the two pistols. And that's so fire. But then right here, they're showing a lot of like Ori stuff as well. And y'all know, I, I don't think I've ever told you all about this, but I love Ori a lot. I still have not seen the second game, which does suck for me. But the skill shoes I'm all about because in the in regular Hollow Knight, there's like actual um charms you get. And I think there are skill trees in Silk Song as well. But for this one, 
This looks amazing because three more bullets in the crease magazine. Uh, but go back to Bloodlust really quick. I want to I go see what the rest of them look like right now. Like, as you can see, we're looking at. So you can have multi. You can customize the abilities of your do witch doctor. Way of the bullet. Uh, silver bullets. Increases pistol damage amount by 1.2. Increased magazine clip fire. Then here's the Amori, or not the Amori, the Amori stuff. And you can use it for platforming. I love this boss design right here. This is new, I think. You have the ground pound. Some of the... Those dual pistols are a lot more immediate than I think, like, ever. This is the final boss. A back, hey, uh, hey, hey, am I, am I wrong for thinking this? Like a background like this? Hold on, wait for it. Look at the background of this, dude. This is like a final boss. This looks like a final boss. This looks like a final boss, dude. I actually am a humongous bro. So look, so now that that's done, right? I'm gonna go to the Steam page. I'm gonna go to the Kickstarter. Now look at this. This is the Steam page, obviously. They did say that it was probably not gonna be out for another couple of years, maybe like two or three. So I'm definitely gonna be up on that. I'm definitely gonna be up on this whenever I can for sure. But then, right, as you can see, right, look at it. Look at already 136,000 at the time of this. And it just went up right then and there. Jesus Christ. This is all a converted. So converted from Can so Canadian is 169,000. And then over here is 136. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm confused. Converted from is 160. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And then. Obviously, like I said, it was it was funded in under three hours, just nutty. And then, so if you scroll down, there are gonna be more stretch goals, but we already kind of funded the the starter of it. I need the boss rush to literally come out because Hollow Knight has that uh, that DLC where you can like go or after after game. I think it's DLC. Is it DLC or is it after game? I think that was DLC. I don't know the expansion pack or something like that. We can really go through and do a boss rush of all of the stuff. And I'm really surprised they didn't have uh, much of the stretch goals like ready. Maybe they didn't think they were gonna do it, but they did it. Seven backers for the, uh, I guess the, the rodeo. A couple, 19 backers for five. Oh yeah, everybody, everybody's in a bag for this. Digital copy of Crow Sworn as soon as you release. I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna pledge the 20. I think I'm gonna pledge the 20 so I can get like the actual digital copy on release for sure. Or I might do the 55, right? Digital copy of course when it's released. Access to beta builds. Damn, I might do the 55. Hold on, I might. Damn, bro. Yo, listen. Here's the story. For the price of pennies. Oh my goodness. JJ Ibsen. Ibsen? I don't know how you say his name. But. Oh my god. That's tough, dude. And then here's the map of Ferndal right here. It's, it's, ah, man. I wish there was like a bigger picture of it, but this is what the map looks like. I can like zoom in as much as possible. It's not as big as like, as I want it to be, but I mean, it looks, it looks lengthy for the most part. Gameplay, like I said, is, uh, this game looks amazing, dude. Combat and abilities, there's just, there's just so much going on. He has magic. The, you could combo all of everything into everything, dude. But then, like I said, inspired by Hollow Knight, Bloodborne, and Devil May Cry. Now, I'm really, really excited for this. This is probably one of the only indie games that I'm excited for. Uh, that's coming out in the more recent years now. Or that's coming out soon in this decade now. Now that the new decade is here. I, I didn't even think Amori was going to be that crazy of an indie game. But then I played it and I was like, oh my god. But like, now that that phase is done, like, this is the next game that I'm expecting. Like... There is estimated delivery 2023. So 2023 is the uh, is the estimated release time, which I'm all for because that's literally just two years of development. I'm putting I'm putting down this 50. I'm gonna do the 50. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the 50 just so I can get access to the beta builds and then get the uh, the the release for the for the full game or whatever. I want that and I want the digital wallpaper and I want the soundtrack as well. That soundtrack will be needed. That soundtrack will be needed. But anyway, 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 anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
make sure if anybody's interested in Crow Sworn, link in the description section below. Because you got the trailer, obviously. Then make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for some Crow Sworn, I guess, update videos, whatever. Because I am excited for this game. Mark my words when this channel, by 2023, when this channel is big, you all will love this game. Trust me. I kind of want to play through Hollow Knight again after watching that. And then maybe some Dead Cells. Wow. The power of gaming, people.